What's up, guys? This is my first vlog preparing for the NFL draft. Good morning. I'm on my way to work out at Athletic Inc. And today, well, last week we did chest on Monday. Work on speed work, and then the weight room, we really focused on our chest. And uh, didn't do a ton of heavy lifting like that during season. And so last Monday absolutely destroyed me. But it's not about becoming great in one day. It's about getting a little bit better each and every day and each week. So um, hoping to see some progress going in here this morning. I know y'all know this guy looks familiar. Did you let Coach K talk you into getting cut up, huh? Nah, man. Yeah. That's just natural. workout and feel pretty good last Monday man I was out of shape I had like two weeks off and I felt it this week um, feel a lot better just kind of feel like I'm getting back into the groove again but uh, now I'm running home to make lunch and then I got to go do my quarterback stuff one other thing I forgot to mention is I know this guy um, who was described to me as like the rain man of sports stuff like he knows like all the ins and outs of I'm not talking about like technique but like the behind the scenes stuff and um, anyways I've been talking to him kind of about my, my YouTube channel documenting and stuff and um, he brought to my attention that he knows somebody um, or these people who are looking to do a documentary like a little path to the draft deal um, and just kind of wanted to find somebody to follow and so um, I think he gave him my name and was talking to me about it. And so tomorrow, I think we're gonna do like a little interview deal. Um, like I'm interested in that because they could probably do this way better than I can. But at the same time, like I wanna be able to control like what is being put out, what my story is and kind of like the way I wanna go about it. Um, at the same time, I wanna be able to grow my own channel as well. So anyways, that's just a heads up. Um, I think I'm gonna be doing that tomorrow and kind of talk to him about it and see what they're about. Um, so kind of looking forward to that. Shape time slash lunch time. One cup chocolate milk, calcium, helps you recover, tastes great. Next, a little protein. Some people snort it, I like to drink it. <laughs> Just kidding, don't do that. Got a little bit of that action. Let's get some ice. Stay right there. Just, just eyeball the ice, you know? A couple handfuls. We go, uh, some strawberries. Is that pointed at me? Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh, hey, dropped it. Five <laughs> second rule. Good as new. Probably added a little flavor. A little handful of blueberries. Be careful, these will stain your hands. It's true. Not uh -oh. Did they stain your hands? Huh? Did they stain yeah. your hands? I would show you the other one, but it's stuck. Okay. Open up your banana. Some people just like to use a third of it, and I'm kind of, no, we use the whole thing. Okay, see that? Last but not least, this is Mike's secret stuff. Eggs. I'm gonna be honest, Ooh. 
I kind of do this, I do this for the pro team, but I mainly do it because Rocky Balboa did it. And I think that's so cool. And there you have a fine shake. All right, ladies and gents, there's a change of plans. I'm doing all my quarterback meetings and throwing tomorrow. I thought I was gonna be throwing today, uh, but there's a change in plans and me and my little brother just threw. Um, working on the different stuff that the NFL scouts are gonna wanna see. And now I am headed to fax in my um, contract with my agent. Um, I actually had had it scanned and sent to him, but apparently there was missing a couple papers. But anyways, so I'm going to do that now. This is jerk chicken. What is it? Jerk chicken. Little jerk chicken. Rice. Don't look at the brownies. I don't eat that. I'm in training. Got a little rice. Got some carrots heating up. So she's still cooking. That is dinner. Yep. So my video was pretty short today. And so I wanted to talk to you guys about a little bit about the process that I went through this year. Um, Cause I know a lot of you probably aren't familiar with it. Um, the one thing I'll talk about today is agents. Um, I'm just gonna tell you like how I went through my process and what it was like. So in July we had at Arkansas State what was called agent day. And that's where different agents came in and talked to um, some of the senior players they're interested in. Um, throughout the season, I didn't talk to any agents um and then i hit them up after the season um <clears throat> just to see if they were still interested and all that and so basically i narrowed it down to the agents that were willing to give me the best deal uh, some agents will pay for training um, training housing food some even give allowances and so i pretty much narrowed it down to um two of them they were offering me the best deals and so between those two, I just picked a dude who I got along with the best. I felt like if I was stranded on an island, I wouldn't mind if this was a guy I was stranded with just because of, you know, how we could communicate well. And I think that's really important. So that's kind of how I picked um, my agent. And then I decided to train back home. A lot of people got to California. Um, they'll go down to Dallas. Florida, whatever the case may be, it's cool. They run sand hills or on the beach, I get it. But at the end of the day, it's, a, it's hard work. And I knew I could do that back home. I knew I had a lot of resources here. And so that's where I decided to train. Don't need anything pretty. I just need to get the work done. And so um, that's pretty much the agent deal for me. And so as the weeks go on and the days go on, if some of my videos are shorter and not that entertaining, um, I'll cover some different aspects um, about this whole process that I'm going through. But with no further ado, that is the end of the video for today. See y'all in the next one.